What is up you guys, I'm just tall in black because I've just returned from taking photos like Black Paris. And that's the profile we're going to analyze how to edit and color grade like them. But hey, if we're getting to know each other, I'm Tony Fuentes and in this channel I do a lot of tutorials of video and editing as well as some cinematic blogs mixed in there. So straight to Black Paris, this profile is amazing. I'm sure you've all come across it, everything in their profile is black. We can see all kinds of luxury brands, we can see Porsche, Lamborghinis, luxury architecture, luxury clothing, everything in, in this profile tends towards the luxurious tones, but always, always it has to be black. Okay, so down to the color gradient of this profile, we can see that everything is black or blacked out, except the skin tones or anything that is yellow or orange. So that's the base to our preset in Black Paris. We can see those that just are simple edits where you smash in a preset. And that's the first edit that we're gonna do in Lightroom. And the second type is the one that they black out objects. We can see blacked out Kit Kat bars, McDonald's fries. We can see blacked out everything except the subjects. And that is isolated in Photoshop. So that's the second edit. So first we're gonna jump into Lightroom and then we're gonna jump into Photoshop. As you can see, like in this picture, with the two subjects getting out of the Porsche, everything is blacked out, even the architecture behind and the, and the lights of the cars. Right here, we, we would normally see a lot of colors in the lights of the cars, the color of the brimstone of the architecture, all the background, but everything is blacked out except the skin tones of the subjects. So that's the second way to edit, and that's done in Photoshop, isolating the subject. So, so let's jump into Lightroom, see how to do the preset, a simple preset, and then we're gonna jump into Photoshop, guys. Guys, okay, so these are our images that we want to edit. Don't worry, we're not gonna edit all of them, just one and create a preset upon that. We have several from my last year's trip to Japan, only because they're a bit more urban and moody than my normal or regular photos. We have others that are flat laid photography. I tried to search for a lot of black objects around in my house. And then we have some typical images from black parties like the Netflix sign and the MacBook Pro. And lastly but not least, we have these two images, the one with my dog in, in the grass and the one with the bottle of Jaggermeister. But we're gonna use these two as an example into how to isolate the subject in Photoshop and desaturate and convert any object into a black one. So let's start with this one in Lightroom and get to the develop tab. Okay guys, so the first thing I'm gonna do is up a bit the exposure to plus 0.5 and the contrast to a plus 60. As we can see, the image is looking a little bit more contrasty. The temperature and tint, we're not gonna move right now. That will depend on each photo. And then the highlights. Okay, let me explain a bit of what highlights and whites do. Highlights are the mid-tones in the white side, while shadows are the mid-tones in the black side. But all the way to the extremes are the whites and the blacks. So, so the blacks control the darkest parts of our image, while the shadows, they are different, they control the mid-tones. As you can see, these parts of the image are moved when I move the slider. The same applies to whites and shadows. Whites control the whitest parts of our image or the whitest elements, while the highlights control the mid-tones of the whites. Okay, having that said, let's start. Okay, highlights, we're gonna ump it up a bit to plus 20. Shadows are gonna be negative 10. Then the whites, we're gonna kill them completely to make the image a bit more flat, like the style of Black Paris. And then the blacks, a plus 40. So the image is looking a bit more contrasty. Then in clarity, we're gonna go up to 25. And vibrance, we're gonna kill it a bit to minus 25 and the saturation to minus 30. Okay, as we can see, the image is looking a bit more darkened. Okay, now in the tone curve, we're not gonna use a typical S shape. In this case, it's gonna be a U shape. So we're gonna put two points in the mid-tones and we're gonna drag down to make a U shape. Now we can click on this button to see what it's done. And it's made the image a lot less contrasty by muting a bit the highlights and the shadows. Okay, now we're gonna go to HSL color. And in this case, in saturation, we're gonna desaturate almost everything. We're gonna desaturate all the purples, all the magentas, all the blues, all the aquas, and the greens as well. We don't want any greens. As we can see, that affects a bit of the trees. And then the yellows, we're gonna desaturate them as well. And the orange and reds are the ones that we're gonna keep. Okay, so for orange and red, we're just gonna ump that up just a bit to 15 and to 10 the oranges. As we can see, there's a little bit more saturation in what's illuminated by the headlights of the car. Now in luminance, all we're gonna do is take the reds a bit down, a minus 10, and the oranges a plus 10. Now in here, the only thing that we're gonna do is change the, the orange a bit towards the reds instead of towards the yellows with a minus 10. That's all the color grading we do in HSL. Then we're gonna go down to split toning Okay, so now we can see that the image is a bit warm in the shadows and, and the highlights. So for that, we're gonna correct it with split toning. So we're gonna enter in the hue tab of 210 in the highlights and 220 in the shadows. Just adjust it with a 10 in the shadows and a five 
in the highlights. We can turn on and off the split tone and see what we've done. As you can see, the image is a bit more cool. Okay, now we can apply the preset in the rest of the images to see how it performs. So let's try this one of the Tokyo Sky Tree. So we can apply it. And okay, it looks pretty good. As we can see, all the blue from the sky has gone. And the only thing saturated are the, the Christmas lights of the street. Maserati Gran Turismo in Sibuya Crossing. So let's apply the preset. Okay, looks pretty good. Now what I'm thinking is that this Maserati should be black to fit the style of Black Paris. That we can do in Photoshop, but I'll show you later on. Everything is turned to black and white except the headlights or the rear lights of the car. And that's pretty much the style of Black Paris, what they do with car photos. Now this image of several black things, let's see how the preset works. Okay, it's a bit too desaturated. So in this case, I'm gonna bring back a bit of the yellows until at least the cookies and, and the tones of the skin are a bit more saturated. So right about there. And then we're losing a lot of information here in the shadow. So that is corrected up here. We're gonna amp up the shadows. So as we can see, there's a lot more detail in the camera and in the shadows. And also we can move the tone curve, this point in particular, just a bit. As you can see, all presets are never perfect. The accounts of black paris in my cell phone and everything is black now we can see that before and after with y in our keyboard normally screens of whether it be computers tablets or cell phones have a blue tint to it so let's bring back the blues a bit so the image is a bit more realistic so we're going to bring back the blues okay now the image is a bit more real as you can see presets are never just a one click you always have to edit to get a better result and in this case we're as well we're going to saturate a bit more the, the blues for the screen and and i would like a bit more clarity in this image you can see the clarity how it amps up the texture of everything you can see the before yeah we can amps up the texture of everything a bit and the whites i'm gonna pull them up just a little bit so we get a little less information in the window just like that okay looks pretty good next of course in photoshop i would delete these extra couches and all the wires but let's just see how the preset works okay looks pretty good except that the netflix sign is not the true red as you can see this is the real color of the netflix sign so we're going to go down to the colors and i'm going to go to the luminance tab and bring down a bit the, the reds and saturate them just a bit more i'm happy with that and now let's see this bottle the bottle of Jaggermeister. Now if we apply the preset directly, we can see everything is desaturated except the orange logo. Now what I want to do is keep the bottle. Now what I want to do with this image is yes, keep everything black, the bottle black, but I want the logo, at least this part, this little ribbon that goes around to remain green. So for that, we're gonna use Photoshop to edit. So that's it for Lightroom guys. It's a quite simple preset. But now let's jump into Photoshop and see how to edit or isolate the subjects in a more complex situation. Okay, so we right click, edit in, edit in Photoshop. And now we wait until Photoshop opens up the image. Okay, once it opens up in Photoshop, we hit OK. And now the image is going to be loaded up as a TIFF file. Okay, okay, so what I want to do in this image is isolate the ribbon and the circle of the logo. So when I convert this image into black and white, these two aren't affected. Okay, to select things, we can use several tools. In this case, we can use lasso, a magnetic lasso, or the quick selection tab. Uh, there are many other tools, but in this, in this case, I'm just gonna use the lasso. Uh, but first of all, let's duplicate the, the layer. You can duplicate it by right-clicking duplicate layer, or you can hit Control plus J. Okay, so in this case, let's select everything. Okay, once we've selected the stamp or the sticker, I don't know how to call it. And I'm gonna deselect the middle part. And for that, I'm just gonna use the, the lasso again. Okay, so once this is selected, we can invert the selection with Control I or right click, invert selection. And as you can see, now we've selected everything but the logo. So now we're gonna use a black and white filter. And as you can see, everything has turned black and white except the things that we've selected. So this is very helpful, in particular if you have elements with several colors or elements that you want to emphasize certain color without turning it black and white. In this case, there's a lot of greens. The bottle is green, the logo is green, but I want to keep a certain part of it green. So that's why I have to use Photoshop to edit. So once you've finished, you can control S to save. And once it's saved, the image will appear in Lightroom next to the original one. Okay, so here in Lightroom, 
the original is here and right beside it is the new edit now we're just going to apply the black paris filter and see how it performs as we can see the greens have been eradicated so we're going to return them just like that but you need to notice the difference. If we do it to the original image and we apply the, the filter, we can see that everything is desaturated. But if we turn the greens, the green of the bottle also returns. So in this case, what we've done is isolated the green of the logo from the bottle and only the green remains of the logo. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with that. Only thing I will do is crop it for Instagram and correct a bit of the angle just around there. I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, so let's do another one in Photoshop. Okay, so in this one as, as well, right click, edit in, edit in Photoshop, and automatically the image will appear in Photoshop ready to edit. Okay, we're gonna duplicate the layer, and now we're gonna select the dog and my hand. But for that, to make it a bit easier or faster, we're gonna go up to selection, gamma selection, and once it appears, I'm sorry that it's in Spanish, I'll change it for the next video, but you can follow along. We can select with this tool, all the colors that compose the dog and my arm, and as you can see, now you can adjust the tolerance right about there. I'm happy with that selection. And now I'm going to refine it with the, with the quick selection tool. Pretty happy with that. Now, with all elements of selection, we have a plus sign. And with negative, we can delete anything that we haven't selected. Okay, so like in the previous image, we can right click, invert selection, and we're going to add a black and white filter. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. Now we can save, control S and the image will appear in Lightroom next to the original. As we can see, the image has appeared next to the original and now we can apply the filter and we have completely isolated the colors. So once we apply the filter, we can add a little bit more contrast and a bit more clarity, turn down a bit the blacks and there we have an image worthy of the feed of Black Paris. So that's it for this tutorial guys. If it was useful to you, can you please give it a like? It really makes a difference and consider subscribing. Remember to hit the notification bell to be notified when I upload the next video. I hope you're doing well, staying home, being safe, taking care of your loved ones. Cheers and see you in the next one.